RTB Maps, an interactive online tool for understanding the geographic dimensions of roots, tubers and bananas. It consists of a collection of digital, online, interactive maps that makes geographic information more accessible. Those maps depict the most recent data on RTB crop distribution, abiotic and biotic constraints, RTB agricultural biodiversity, and the socio-economic conditions of the people who depend on RTB crops. The CGIAR Research Program on Roots, Tubers and Bananas, known as RTB, aims to tap the full potential of crops such as potato, sweet potato, cassava, yam, banana and plantain to improve food security and incomes in the world's poorest regions. Hundreds of millions of people in Asia, Africa and the Americas depend on RTB crops for their food needs and livelihoods and those crops may become increasingly important with population growth and climate change. RTB Maps includes tools for overlaying maps, producing and printing maps, and a multi-criteria decision analysis tool for setting research and development priorities using a weighted overlay methodology. Users can choose a set of maps that represent key issues related to a desired research and development intervention. One example of how RTB maps can be used is an effort to control a cassava pest in Asia. Mealybugs can reduce cassava yields by as much as 80% and have caused widespread damage in Africa. The map is based on known locations of the pest and the model of predicted locations. By overlaying this map on maps of crop area, for example, scientists can better decide where to focus efforts in Asian countries to prevent the kind of damage that has occurred in Africa. Another example is a map of the global distribution of late blight disease, the biggest contrained to potato production. The map can help guide RTB researchers in their efforts to develop potato varieties that are resilient to the disease. Okay, so this late flight model was based on uh, the original SimCast model, which was used by farmers to determine when they need to apply a fungicide to control the disease. And so we took the original SimCast model, which uses hourly weather data, and used statistical methods to develop a model that was capable of using monthly weather data which was advantageous because then we can use climate change output models and other sorts of very coarse resolution weather data, which frees, up, uh, frees us up to do many more studies. Uh, this map is important because it allows us to then have a broader overview of where potato disease occurs in the world. As a plant pathologist, oftentimes we know a country where disease may frequently occur, but within that country, it's harder to get an idea of exact locations and things like this allow us to do that. Uh, maps like these are important for helping make decisions about breeding programs and research in the future, where we're going to allocate research funds and how the research will be conducted. A third example is an effort to show how climate change will affect the distribution and abundance of pests in the future. Information like this can help researchers decide where to develop integrated pest management programs and help farmers prepare for future risks. As we started to study the potato tuber mod as a novel pest, we needed to understand the distribution of the pest and also to quantify the extent of the risk globally. What we found is that the potato tuber mod risk will increase the actual risk of the pest is estimated to be present in 30% of the total global potato production area, which means 5.9 million hectares of potato are currently affected with PTM. And this can potentially increase with new areas of infestation by 2050, which could cover an additional 2.4 million hectares. I see RTB Maps as an important platform for knowledge sharing. RTB Maps' wide range of uses include Analysis of RTB crop biodiversity Analysis of crop suitability and yield gaps Estimation of possible impacts of climate change Viewing and assessing RTB evaluation trials across the world No software, data or GIS expertise is needed to use RTB Maps. 
All you need is an internet connection and a browser. To better address future threats and the constraints that farmers face today, RTB supported the development of RTB Maps to enhance the efforts of the global community working with RTB crops. It is the result of collaboration by GIS specialists at four CGIAR research centers. Further information can be found at www.rtb.cgiar.org.